And now let's talk about car code add and code bound add. So we're going to talk about the two methods and see the difference between them. So car code add is a UTF-16 and code bound add is Unicode. So they both take in the position of the character in a string and they both return a UTF-16 bit code of that character. But for car code add can only return the code for those characters that has a code between 0 and 65,535 and for code pound add it can go and return the same code for those characters that are in this range here but can also return the code for those that has a code that is greater than this number here. Well, to know the difference more about these two methods here, let's go and see some examples. So I'm going to use this string here. So we have here, okay, then a space, then an emoji. If I ask you what is the length of this string here, you might say one, two, three, four, and that's wrong. So the length of this is five. Why? Because for example here, O is represented by a single UTF code unit. The same thing for K, the same thing for space. But for the emoji here is represented by two 16-bit code units. So it's like we have two characters here. And now for the position of each character here, so for O we have 0, K, 1 and the space 2. Now the character starts at 3 and it's at 4 here. And now let's go and use car code add and code pound add to get the code for each of these characters here. So car code add taking the position and the position is simply the index of the character in a string. For example, if I put zero in here, this means that I want to get the car code of O capitalized. So this will turn 72. Now if I use code pound add and then give it the position zero, this will turn the same code. So as long as the code of the character is less than this number here, car code add and code pound add will return the same result. So for example, if you're working with characters that doesn't have emojis, you can just go with car code add. And now if I go to the position one here, uh, so I will get the code for K here, which is 107. And then for code pound add, we're gonna get the same code. Now, if I go for a space at position two, I'm gonna get 32, and it's gonna be the same result when using code pound at two. And now if I call car code at the position three, now this is where the difference happens. So car code at now we'll see this as a single 16 bit code unit, and it's gonna return its code. But for code pound at, it's not gonna see this as a single 16-bit code unit. Instead, it's gonna see it as two 16-bit code units. So it's gonna return the compound value using the two 16-bit code units. So this is what we're gonna get using code pound. Now, if I use this code here to get an emoji, the emoji I'm gonna get is this thumbs up emoji. But if I use this code here to get a character or an emoji, this is what I get. This is the broken character. Now let's move on to the fourth position here. So for car code add, again, this is represented by a single 16-bit code unit. So it's gonna return its code. And here code pound add also will see this as a single 16-bit code unit, so it's gonna return the same code as car code at. And now if I go and use a position or an index that it's out of range, because we don't have any character at the fifth index here, or fifth position, car code at will return none, and for code pound at, it will return undefined. Now, if I use car code add without any position, position will be set to zero by default. So if I use zero here, I will get the code for O, which is 79. The same thing for code pound add, when the position is not passed, position is set to zero by default, so I'll get the same result. And that's it for car code add and code pound add. Let's move on to the next method.